Welcome back to Memories. The last episode, apparently we know K from somewhere, which I don't understand. That was a bit of a surprise, in a sense. We were able to finish the last episode, and things are in different orders from where we're trying to remember stuff. And in this episode, we're going to continue start saving. So let's get on with the saving. In a new episode. I have to admit, it was surprising that we know K from somewhere, and somehow we just forget. So that's a thing. Anyway, let's see. We finished... Kidnapped, Airlines, Visitor, I don't know how many episodes there are. I think there's only like five episodes, so this is a thing. Also, I'm pretty sure that's Gumshoe in the background. K. Faraday, the young lady who calls herself the second Yatagarasu. The piece of cloth that she conjured up. I don't really think that's a good thing because conjured means like she, com she like created it. I wasn't really listening to that. Anyway, seven years earlier. I don't know. How, how old is Kay? I would assume 17, but... Oh, this is a court case? Yeah, that's right. I did it. I killed the guy. Good for you, dude. But it was the great thief that told me to do it. Wait, what? I asked it a... I don't like you. You look weird. Well, this turned, uh, weird fast. Oh, wait, what? I, I feel like he's taking this out of his butt, to be honest, from what I'm hearing. Oh, wait, what? No one believes you. Actually, I can't believe you. Not quite sure what just happened. Well, that was a somber note to start on. In accordance with the defendant's accusation, a new prosecutor shall be called to replace Mr. Faraday. This court will be in recess until the new prosecutor is ready. I feel like that was me. Wait, are we actually in a court scene this time? That'd be cool, actually. December 10th, 320, District Court, third floor. Okay, so this is how the court looks. Why the heck is there a kid in my office? Don't understand. Oh, I look good. I look good. It's almost time for me to enter the courtroom. And so it is that my first assignment as a prosecutor will be as a replacement for a prosecutor who has been accused by defendant. Okay. So we're that guy's thing. Oh boy, this should be interesting. I don't know what voice I should do it for you, man. Oh god, this is gonna get stupid. Oh wait, we're bowing? Okay, I guess we do. He is our teacher, so. Uh, Alright, uh, let me think. It has to be pristine, prick, and awesome at the same time. So basically my voice, but I'm already using that for Edgeworth. Um, have you read over all the documents regarding the trial? Yes, sir. I've memorized everything there is to know. Very good. The paperwork for the prosecutor's substitution is just about complete. Dang, I hate this guy so much sometimes. Edward, always bear in mind that as your mentor, I, Manfred von Karma, will accept nothing short of- Thanks, dude! No pressure right there! I understand, sir. To have the chance to stand in court at such an early stage in my career. I am honored and proud. As I have watched over your studies, I am giving you this very rare chance to prove yourself. I love how much <laughs> he really believes in me. Yes, sir. What? Okay, sure, why not? That's such a legendary prosecutor is watching over and judging my performance. I have to be perfect in every way. Oh, yeah, no pressure right there, man. That's a scary thought. All right, let's see what the crazy guy has to say. Today's trial should have ended in just one minute. Because the defendant was picked up by the security camera, right? Exactly. But it didn't happen like that, I'm assuming. The killer had the gal to say that he only killed because he was instructed to do so. Even more outrageous is his claim that the case prosecutor, Baron Faraday, gave the order. Ha! Faraday is such a fool. What the heck? 
He's been cornered by his own very own prey. Oh, well. Um. That's a thing. <laughs> He's a pathetic man who speaks nothing but nonsense. Wow. Nonsense? He once tried to explain to me a way of punishing those who cannot be brought to court. How? No man is by the law. Well, there are always a few exceptions. However, there is no reason to even deal with such individuals. I mean... I can see how he's kind of right in that regard. I mean, like, if there's... There's no reason to deal with the individuals because we're part of the court, but how would you deal with an individual like that? Edgeworth, disgracing yourself as Faraday has will not be forgiven. Thanks, dude. Have no fear. I will not let you down, sir. In place of the accused prosecutor Baron Faraday, I'll prove the defendant's guilt. At least... Eh. I mean, he's a good mentor, I guess. He's not like the worst I've seen. So have you achieved a firm understanding of the case? Nope, I have no idea what the heck I'm doing! Memorize everything that's written down on the case files. Do I have a case file? Nope, I don't have a case file! Okay! Well then, explain the case to me. I want to see if you really know what you're talking about. I have no idea. Okay, I guess this is where we're supposed to learn about the case. September 8th in front of Co Kodopian Embassy. That's a thing? The victim, Mr. Dayton Mon, was a staff member at the embassy. The defendant in this case, Mr. Mackerel, was held for questioning the night of the incident as he was deemed suspicious. He was quickly placed under arrest for possession of a murder weapon, a gun. Furthermore, at the time of the murder, the great thief Yatagarasu had successfully infiltrated the Kodopian Embassy as well. At first, Ro claimed that he himself was the Yatagarasu, so he's saying three different things at once. I wonder what he expected to gain from such a desperate lie. It's possible that he wants to go down while in the spotlight if he is found guilty. That's actually a valid argument, to be honest. But I digress. Continue to work. Yes, sir. During the trial, the prosecution presented the security footage that captured the murder. They did? Oh, that's a thing. The act of Mr. Rell firing the gun could be clearly seen from the Vision's gallery. I feel like that's wrong, though, because it's never that easy. Heh. <laughs> I did because I was told to. Yeah, right. Who is to believe you? And why would the freaking guy believe in you? Who would believe in you? Well, this may appear to simply... ...be the murder of a Colombian... People are actually referring to it as the second KG. There's a second KG? There's a first KG-8 incident? <laughs> well, even among the police, it's information only a select few are privy to. Could you please enlighten me, sir? Okay, so this is important, I guess. What do you mean by K- In order for me to tell you that, you must first learn about the original case. What's the original case? So, a three-year-old newspaper. Wow, it only happened three years ago from this time, which we don't know how long it was from- Oh yeah, seven years ago, so the real KG-8 incident was ten years ago. This is gonna be seven years ago, so the Mono Scandal. Secretary of Ernest Amano, the Mono Group's director- Oh yeah, I remember this part. Suspicion of smuggling? Uh huh? I know that guy too, he was sad. CC Kuyu was a member of the Amano Group and a sole witness to the smuggling operation. It was she who brought the crime to light. However, Missy was silenced before she could testify. Was the Kodopian embassy staff member arrested for the murder? Okay. This just got super political all of a sudden. Due to the lack of evidence, the case went unsolved. Lack of evidence? Why is that bad? It happens all the time. If only I was in charge of the case. <laughs> I would have done everything in my power to prove his guilt. Well, at least you have... Well, at least, yeah, I guess that's a thing. Prosecutor from the day then, and he was as pathetic as dang. Okay, so he was in charge of the KG-8 incident where the embassy person died. Now, the victim you are currently assigned to was someone who was scheduled to testify against that smuggling organization. So the or smuggling organization was very important, I guess. Okay, so someone doesn't want the smuggling operation to come to light. I'm assuming it's the Amano group, but... 
I'm not quite sure. Well, I wasn't thinking about that, but... Doesn't that mean we don't have enough evidence for that? Prosecutor? Great thief, Yatagarasu! What about him? Better find out more. Okay, anything else, dude? If it is true that the Yadagash shows up at the Kodopian Embassy, what could he or she have been after? Hmm. No doubt to steal any suspicious accounting records or release them publicly. Vigilante of the business world? I mean, assuming he also takes government stuff too. What was it that the Yadagaras was sent to the police? I don't know the details. Anything related to the Yatagarasu's gang the top secret treatment. Still, I find it very ironic. How is a 10-year-old girl able to do this? Okay, so the Yatagarasu infiltrated the embassy, which they failed to find him. Hmm. I don't get it. Okay. There's a Yadagarasu case? I don't like these um, giant walls of text of information because then it's like, it's important stuff, but then I'm gonna forget it all of a sudden. I know you! Oh my god, that's adorable. She has like a little balloon and crap on herself. Okay, that's adorable. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I wanna trade these coins with you. What? Wait, what? A fistful of dimes, quarters, and pennies. But it looks like you've exactly a dollar. Is this what you want? Oh my god, that's adorable! That is absolutely freaking adorable! I don't know why you should need a dollar, but... How disrespectful for a child like that to be running around inside the poor house. Why are any of these people here? What is the guy in the freaking left doing? It looks like he's freaking humping that whatever it is. Does no one have respect for this country's judicial system anymore? And uh, after I met, um, what's the face called? The wolf demon dragon dude? I'm not quite sure anymore. Can I move? No, I can't move. The paperwork for the prosecutor's substitution is complete. Why you do you? know how much time there's left before our trial resumes? I, I'm so sorry. I'm assuming we have to go right now. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> um, why do these guys have so much power? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's not a thing. That'll never be a thing. Okay, so we're gonna get stuff from Faraday. Where's Faraday? Why is it black? Okay. Hey! I don't think we've seen this for a while. Okay, let's go. Let's testify. There's no one here. This isn't a good sign. Okay, this is slowly getting awkward. Just what is going on? Why isn't Faraday here yet? How is it possible that the defense is not prepared yet either? Bailiff? Where's Mr. Faraday? Please tell me he ran off. Okay, never mind. Okay. The prosecutors aren't the evil ones, the police are the idiots. So that's what the judge looks like when he's walking around. It's one karma recommended. Can we get ready now? Oh, that's what he looks like on the... Uh, everything. I love his beard! Man, it looks better in, the ga in this than the games. Oh, by the way, was there someone celebrating a birthday during the recess? What? When did I heard a popper going off? I don't hear... Don't see why this matters. Yes, it will be all but impossible to prove the witness a liar. If there is no witness! Okay, that works too. The blasted buffoon up to now! What happened now? <laughs> Please tell me he didn't just go away. 
There shall be no yelling in the scarecrow. La la la. Hall of law. Aren't you yelling? Wait, what? Why is everything yelling? You have to listen to me. There's an emergency. Defendant lobby number two. Mr. Faraday and the defendant. What? The two of them. They're... They're both... Wait, what? What just happened? That's the thing! Cliffhanger time! Next time we're gonna see what the hell just happened, because I have no idea! You have no idea! Listen to 362 wondering what the hell's going on anymore.